Hello Floss Tube. Welcome to Crafty Cottage Stitches for Floss Tube number 13. Um, wow. Today is February 27th, Saturday. This is, uh, I'm Heather. I'm Jeanette. And this is a Floss Tube channel about cross stitching and quilting and crafting and organizing and shopping. And whatever. And whatever. Um, so, oh, first we're going to get started with um, we had a giveaway a few weeks ago for um, 1,500 subscribers. We did that on floss tube number nine. Um, and we had one person respond to us, but we haven't been able to get the second person to respond to us for the $25 Etsy gift card. So I did another random comment generator. And we really want someone to get be that, able to shop. That's a gift card. <laughs> So um, we've just been giving people two weeks in between our videos and we just haven't gotten that response for that second person. So I did another one today um, off of off of floss tube number nine. Right. I did another drawing off that. Um, and so Jacqueline, Jacqueline Liebfried is the winner. So please um, email us. Yeah, we put our email down there now. We have one of those. So yeah. or message on on Instagram, if you follow us on Instagram, you can um, direct message us there or send us an email. My mom created a Gmail a Gmail account just for this Floss Tube channel, um, and just let us know where you want to have that Etsy gift card emailed to you. It'll just be a digital one that you'll get right away, and you can shop right and you away. Can go shopping, yeah. So let us know, and congratulations. Yes. Um, thank you for all the nice comments. Wonderful comments. Thank you for subscribing, weeks. and we've gotten quite a few new mm -hmm. subscribers. Thank you for messaging us and just chatting with us um, on Instagram and following us on Instagram and inspiring us. It's been really fun. Make me spend money. No. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't done a lot of stitching. Um, yeah, we we haven't. We've been um, kind of lame lately. Hey, I've been painting. I have too. I've, I've been started doing painting a lot my of kitchen and things. Doing paperwork for refining a mortgage and <laughs> just fun, not fun stuff so I will be stitching again stuff. after this I think this will motivate me I think so well I did some stitching a little bit this morning so yeah. I have a finish yep I do not have a fully finish but I do have a finish and I finished my the potting shed oops there we go do you have the pattern I do so this is the sal I was doing with um Lisa from Lisa Abbey's Needleworks um, no, that I was trying one over one on 40 count, oh. <laughs> <laughs> which is really fun actually. Um, but I wanted to see if I could do it. So there is my finish. Um, yeah, so there it is. I haven't decided. I know Lisa finished hers in a green tray in a green it's tray very pretty. and I love it. So I may copy her, but I, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do yet. Um, I changed up almost all of the colors except for the one for the herb sign and I think her hair but other than that I'm kind of obsessed with little bee skeps now though yeah it's, really they're cute. so cute so I last night I was looking around for different charts that have they kind of have this vibe yeah um, with bees bee skeps yeah. so I was I had planned on putting this out in my um out in my potting shed but now I don't so think cute. I can. Are you going to spray it? You were going to antique spray yeah, it? Yeah, I, I might still hit like around the edge with the primitive gathering spray. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to do a test. I'll cut some of this off and do a test to see how I like that. But there's my potting shed. And that is with thy needle and thread. And we do have a cell. Um, I'll link that below yeah, the sure, hashtag that we use. I can't. That. I can't remember my See, name. Quite a few people time, doing so. it. I know. And people and are finishing lately. There's, and then um, Carol Lee started it on, oh. a, on a blue fabric. Yes, oh, it's so that's pretty. right. I saw that. Check out her Instagram. It's stitching is elementary. She's doing it on a blue. Um, yeah. So Brenda just finished it. Oh, I know on that cute tray or kind of picture frame it's like tray. A like. Galvanized. Almost like a chunky galvanized frame, I, know, I think. It was yeah, super cute. It's very pretty. So, it's well, and Ginger finished it like immediately. I know. We we all strive to be Ginger, <laughs> but we all <laughs> battled with these colors because they're so different now. Because so it's an older. Pattern. You got to use yeah. your imagination with it, and I love it now that it's on the white. Yeah, so, it's so cute. That is my one finish. Just not. Um, 
fully finished because I haven't really decided yet. I have a previous finish that I pulled out. I did this. This was actually when I, um, I gotta clip this off real quick. It's driving me nuts. When I started getting back into cross stitch last, last year. So it would have been around last spring. Oh my gosh. I had been so a little cute. bit Dang it. when um, Evie was really tiny, but when these came out, um, from stitching with the housewives, when they started doing these cups, I think these were some of the first ones. Was Peep the I first think it's one? Been, I think they've done it about a year now. So yeah, yeah that would be I think about these right. were like the first ones. Um, I did these two. Maybe a chicken together. one or something first. Oh yeah, there might've been a chicken one first, but I did them on black. It's the only black that I've ever really liked. I haven't fully finished it because I'm the same way. I don't, I don't know about black in my house, but they're so stinking cute on here. And I had an idea to do three in a row on here, but I didn't know which other one I wanted to do. Do they have some new East? Not yet, but I bet you they'll yeah, come out. They might have another new one coming Easter up. But I also thought about doing just like my own, kind of pulling some of these together to make one that was like a combination of the two. I kind That's of wish true. I had scooted it over and just like had done one in the middle. But like with carrots or something. I didn't really think it? about it. Yeah. Um, super cute. Because then I think it'd be cute to just have them in a frame, like a I love frame. It. But I can't, and it'll I can't fit on a tier two, tray. So. It'd be silly, I think. It would be off. It would be off. So. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what they come out with in Easter. Yeah. If not, I'll I'll try and figure out something. But they're really, really cute. I love, love them. And that's but the I thing. don't love stitching on black. No, I hate it. Um, and it's not that I can't see it because we're working right. on Ada. I don't know what it. Well, I think part of it is like when I did the potting shed and I was just doing it on a color fabric that doesn't fit in my house. Um, right. I'm thinking, yeah, it's not me. Well, so. I initially started the bunny on pink. That's cute too. It is, but he's massive. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I wanted him a little tinier, not, so I did tiny. He's, yeah, but then and he's I'm quite thinking, a bit bigger than. And I don't think I used the called for colors on these. I know you, I, I know no, I didn't because I just pulled randomly then. from my DMC. Yeah. You never my old DMC that I had. But I don't think you even had fancy floss back then. I did not. So he's a give up. Um, but this is fabric that we dyed a couple summers ago. I don't know. Maybe cut that off and I'll make it into a little pillow for this guy. Yeah, that would be cute. Yeah. For Evie. Yeah, for Evie. Um I have a freebie that I want to do on this that I'll start probably closer to Easter and I'll show you guys the pattern. It's an older pattern. It's a bunny in like a, almost like an egg shape wreath. I'll have to pull that up and let you guys know next video. Did you show me that? Where that is. You, like last year when oh. I, when I dyed it, actually oh, okay. no, it was years ago when I dyed it. Cause I had an idea in my head when okay. I, so I dyed that. Do you remember? Was that rose? I don't know. Rose I think... gold writ dye? Is that right? Petal pink and... I don't know. I don't know. It was a writ dye we experiment. Clearly need to I love the color it because I can't know, remember it anything. Out. So my previous finish and the reason I'm getting this out and it's the last one I need that I had kind of stored away is this one. Um, it's I think it's Nikki's Primitives. We'll we'll link it below because I I I would have to dig for the pattern because I did this. I actually finished it last um, February That's during finish it February. Really I'm pretty sure it's Nikki's Primitives, um, and I did it on 32 count cream that I really tea dyed, just kind of really dark and baked it for a while. I don't like a lot of modeling, but I got enough on there. I think it gives it a kind of cool look, but um, I pulled it out because I'm going to kind of frame it, look for a frame with, you know, the whole gardening theme I'm loving right now. Yeah. So. This would be cool with that antique spray too. I might to model it. A yeah, little bit maybe or do around some, the corner. Yeah, to kind of. Make I kind of like match when it's kind bit. of distressed. Yeah, a little bit like it's been, I don't know, stained or something. But after the fact. After the yeah. fact, definitely. So like more purposeful. And it's got a cute little. Um, it came with a little bunny button. But it's cute. So I'm looking for a frame for this and then the potting shed. But we'll link the pattern below if anybody wants to know. I changed up some of the colors, but I think it's, I, I'm pretty sure it's all DMC. Looks yeah. like it. Yeah, I think they call for all DMC. I don't know, this pot, is that, does that have? 
Or is that just the video showing variegation? I think it's just the video. I'm pretty sure it's all DMC, okay. but she'll put the pattern name. I just got to dig for it. So, what super cute. What is that fabric? 32? 32, yeah. So I'm either going to stitch on most likely either 32 or 40. Yeah. Um, I would love to be able to. We'll see. We'll see. So that's my previous finish that will be framed as soon as I find the perfect frame. I kind of want something, the vintagey, really thin ones like I like um, to put it in, I think, you know. Frames. The, yeah, like yeah. The, one of the thinner frames. Kind of like the thinner look. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of something you would find in an antique store. Random floss. So, yeah, there. I don't know if I showed this last time. I know I showed it, but I don't know if I was this far last time. I don't know. I don't remember. I have my husband's iPad now, so it's a little bit bigger than anyone. <laughs> it's giant. <laughs> it's giant. Now. I have like a fancy like <laughs> whatever on it. After the dropping episode yeah, of Yeah, it swivels, which is really cool. Oh, fancy. Uh, <laughs> so this is my own pattern, um, White House Stitchery on Etsy. It's called uh, Love Grows Here. It's a series. Um, the first in a series of little garden shed patterns. I really don't know how far you are. I don't think I had done the this part of the shed yet. If I did, I'm sorry, but I'm showing you again. This yeah, cute. So. It's really fun to stitch. Like okay. I did this We're on ready Monday, to but I was stitching like all day, <laughs> especially after today. We went for a walk, it's, and it it's beautiful um, for the last it was two days. Beautiful, and the frogs Freezing. are out. The frogs are out. It was so loud on our trail. We found awesome. a pond that was like full of them. So. Springs here, it seems. I don't walk when it's in the 40s. No, but we needed to. It was really nice. So that's that progress. Do you have yes, I do have something Oops. I'm working on. Um, kind of, sort of. Well, it's almost done. All I have left now, and I think I'll show you the colors I chose, but I didn't have the little, this wasn't done and this wasn't done. I pretty much just, when I cross-stitched, I worked on the potting shed because I really wanted to finish that because I'm probably the last one to do that, so. It doesn't seem like it. No, Carolee just started. That's true, but she just got her pattern. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I did the scissors, and now I think I'll show you what color um, I chose for the, and that is, um, I collect with the needle and thread. I change all the colors. I need to do that one. Yeah, I love it. I think I'll do it more pinky, though. Oh, you did a pinky. You I did. did. Ladybug. It's Ladybug. Yeah. So it's like a faded out tomato. I think Old Red Barn would be pretty, too. Yeah, totally. That would that would work really good. So I think I'm going to use... Um, let me get them out. I don't know. I got it in my little bee bag. You know, the whole garden theme thing I'm loving right now. I think I'm going to use... Um, I actually worked in my garden. What color is this? Cottage blue? Yes. <laughs> Cottage blue <laughs> for one of the threads and roasted marshmallow. That's beautiful. It is. It's I actually had planned on doing, um, yeah, so I probably won't use that one. But I think I'm going to use. I have a lot of gentle arts. I love gentle arts. I love them all. I love them all. And now. Um, Ooh, that's beautiful. You're doing that for what? The floss? I think the thread. So this, yeah, yeah. this there and that there. And then I just have to sew the buttons on and this will be done. And I am going to frame this. Um, I want to do a tear tray with all sewing stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think those look good now that I look at that. That's really pretty. And I've decided I'm going to hold up my quilts now in the camera <laughs> so I can see what I've messed up because it really <laughs> makes it very apparent yeah. when you're holding it that way. I'll show you my mess ups too. I don't care about that. No. But, <laughs> but for me, it kind of gives you a different... When you're just staring at it, you don't see that. So yeah, those look good. Those are gonna be the colors of my threads. And I, I mean, this will be like an evening worth of stitching. So that is all I did for cross stitch. I did some other stuff, but it was just working on my own patterns that I haven't released yet. But I think I'm gonna show you guys anyways. Is that crazy? Well, at least show one, why not? I'm gonna show them. Okay. Well, and if you think you can go and Whip them up Whip them before up I get them released. Then more power to you. <laughs> um, yeah, no one would do that. No. We this one I've actually people's. stitched quite a bit on, and it's been quite fun. And I had been, like, releasing patterns before I had them stitched up, but there were some things in here that I wanted to stitch up first just to make sure it looked okay um, stitched up. 
So this is actually gonna be a new series that I'm doing called Pretty Postage. And the first one is gonna be herbs. Calendula's herbs, right? Close enough. Yeah, close Whatever. enough. I think it is. Plant life. You can use it. Um, yeah, <laughs> but anyways, know. so this is my herb, my herb one. And I have it stitched. Mm -hmm. I have all of the lavender stitched. And I've started on the chamomile. And then the calendula will go right here, obviously. And this, her mom wanted it into in a galvanized bucket. So. Yes. <laughs> this is a bunch of French knots. Not all of it, but there's like 22 French knots here. That's why I posted on Instagram a couple sometime last week about doing French knots. But it's really fun. But the thing is with that, when you're doing French knots on that, they're not like snowman eyeballs that have to be completely perfect, perfect lined no. up so you don't have like one here and one here. Yeah, because flowers it's aren't flowers, perfect. It's so flowers. And it just really added to I it. I love doing them. Yeah. It really does. So yeah, I'm loving that. This is just another one of those fabrics that we dyed. I think we were trying for sage this, green with that one, and then we um, actually tea -dyed this on is it. the one. This is the one that I dyed. Did we myself? Tea -dyed that it? no, that very first one I dyed that was like the neon blue. That remember? No. I had like successful dyeing last time, but the time before that, where I first was dyeing fabric, and I it was like a neon blue, and then I over dyed it with something the next morning. So that's what this is. I think these will be really cute um, on a tiered tray also. Definitely. Like on a garden themed tiered tray. So it doesn't take very long to stitch up. So I'm going to hopefully get this stitched up soon and get that released. At least get some of it stitched up just to make sure those flowers don't look funky when they're actually stitched. And then the other one that I worked on. Oh, yeah. This one I haven't stitched up, but this is a new release too. It is my Lucky Season Sprinkles. That's my second watering can one. And then my next one is going to be Every Bunny Welcome. And that one I'm stitching up right now. I just want to check to verify that he looks okay when I stitch him up and that I like the colors on here and then I'll release that one. So that shouldn't be too long. I'm gonna get him stitched up, make sure the bunny turns out. That should be, you should be able to do that tomorrow or the next day, get that one out. Depends. So can I make a request? Yeah. Can you flip that can easily for me? Or can I, you know I have- Mirror it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I awesome. can mirror it. Okay. I think, I don't see why that I have a thing issue. with pictures and like candy canes and stockings. They all have to be a certain way. They all have to be a certain way for me. So I worked on those. It feels wrong in my head. That's all I like actually actively stitch this time. But I wanted to talk about my sal. My cozy winter wishes sal. I've abandoned <laughs> her own, this one. Her my own, own sal. And it's so cute. It is I've so seen cute. So I do not like stitching it. on this Ada. I think it's the color of it. I dyed this. Um, that would be cute for Halloween more. It's just more like, like a Halloween stiff gray. and I don't enjoy it. So that's why I've kind of been avoiding it. But I need to measure it and figure it out. I think I'm going to stitch it up on this. This should be big enough. That's fun to stitch on. Yeah, I think it's it'll be really cute on me. this. It'll know, be I think it'll really, be really yeah. super cute on this. So adorable. Um, I'm going to start that again. That's actually going to be my focus the next couple of weeks is going to be this sal. And I'm just terrible because I haven't done any Another sal, too. Do we want to talk about the other sal we're going to do? Sure. Or did you have anything else to talk about? No, I'm done. <laughs> but in my defense, I painted an end table, <laughs> a pile of different crappy things, my lantern up there, a bucket over here. I started painting my kitchen. Yeah. And we have a roof leak, and yeah, that's we're fun. waiting on somebody to tear down a covered porch. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not saying anything <laughs> related, so it's all good right It'll at the moment. It'll just be good when that's done. <laughs> so we are going to start another sal, too. I mean, I shouldn't be doing that when I have a sal that I abandoned, but... Um, this is going to be with oh, why not? my friend Holly on, um, Instagram. She is at Mrs. Jones stitches. Um, so I'll link her below if you want to go 
go follow and her. And we're trying to get her to do a floss tube. Yeah, she like, will. She will do a floss tube. Like tomorrow, do a floss tube. <laughs> yeah, do a floss tube, Holly. Get it uploaded. <laughs> so she wanted to. Um, she just bought a bunch of the Madame Chantilly trays. She actually had a few of them already. I think she had Christmas and Halloween. No, she's bought Halloween. She had a few of the other ones, but she got spring. Um, I thought she got Easter. Maybe she got Easter. She I don't know. E no, she, she got Easter. She got we Easter. Have, spring, spring was out where she ordered it from, I think. So we talked about doing a sale for the trays. And my mom and I wanted to do tier trade Tuesdays anyways. So, But apparently said, whatever we sure. say we're going to do, we don't do. So no, that's not true. We're going to do it. We're going to do, do it. it. And I'm starting with this one because this is the one I've wanted to do the entire time. It just hasn't been in season. It's actually the first one I bought. Yeah. But That's this, Halloween. I just like, I'm drawn to this one and I have a cute idea for this one. Um, well, cause we, we, we did the, the Walmart Halloween or Halloween, the Walmart summer quilt. We wanted mm -hmm. to do this. And so we kind of had really huge plans. So. so yeah, I'm starting with this one. I started the autumn one. This is the one that my mom abandoned because it's too big on here. Because these are huge. Well, and... They're massive. What size is... Is that the same size? Oh, yeah. It was the same size. That's way too big for me. Yeah, it's the I same just, exact yeah, fabric. I just don't have the... And I was going to stick with it, but I'm not going to. We've decided we want to do 40 count on these. Well, you're doing 40 count. I'm doing them. 40 count. I think I'm going to try 25 count, one over one. But you like On that. some of them. Um... On this one, I'm actually I'm just doing 32 count because I want to do it on this because I think it would be so, so cute. So did you decide if you're going to die? I'm not over okay. it. Um, and I've picked my own colors for it. <laughs> and I'm excited. Yay. I'm so that's start. what I'm working on the next two weeks. Well, Besides I like my things I'm wrapping up. One, but I'm I don't designing want, a ton of stuff. I don't want to do fall right now. So. No. That I'm gonna, I'll problem. start with the spring time. one, definitely, but I've got to dye fabric tomorrow, so. I've never and that starts Monday. Yes, we're starting that Monday. Um, so what is that, March 1st? We're going to start that. So go ahead and join us on that. And that'll be continual because we want to do them all, and then we have Tier mm -hmm. Tree Tuesday, which I really need to do because. I do too. But you're on a three-day rotation, so how do you do that on a three-day rotation? Well, it could be my morning thing. That's true. On that day. Um, I don't know. There's so many things I want to do. I know. So <laughs> I'm feeling that right now, too. It's very difficult. We're struggling with fabric right now. Yeah, I am. I was looking for a 40 count on Instagram, or Instagram on Etsy, and it's really expensive, for one. If it's already dyed. If it's already dyed. I but I, can't, I don't think I can find white, really. Well, well yeah, white. Could right you? now, you can't find antique white, unfortunately, because mm. I like to dye antique white. But um, I am going to order that water lily. Okay, order me a piece too. Okay. We'll make up for the. the I don't floss. remember. Is the fat quarter, is that enough for two of these? I think it is. No. They're huge. They're huge. We're we, not, we, we're we're not, not doing, doing the work. Yeah, it's the repetitive to me. So, plus, so them, I mean, you'd have. They're big. They're really big. I mean, that howl, by the time you, <laughs> he's just like a little small. Like, was this going to take up like most of this? All of it. It was going to take up like all of this. Yeah, so they're good size. But they're super cute. And you yeah. don't want to, I've seen some people, they will actually cut off one of the tiers. I like that I mean, idea. Yeah, but I don't, I, I love every single thing on them. So that yeah. would be hard on me. But And I definitely can do like. You can just take these little elements and stitch them up on a little separate ornament or whatever. It's yeah. going to be really cute. Like a little pillow or something mm -hmm. to sit on with it. Which one are you doing first? Spring. Okay. So I'll be doing this one. Holly's doing Easter, I Easter? think. Yeah, she started Easter. She sent me a picture. Um, and you're doing spring. spring. Because I want spring weather. Yes. And spring colors. Well, that's the thing. I have never stitched anything patriotic, so no. it's totally different than what I'm working on and have been mm -hmm. working on for a while here. So why not just throw it another whip, whip in there? <laughs> so uh, this is going to be interesting, though. It's going to be kind of hard, I think. It's just the white line going yeah. through. It kind of sets your eyeballs off a little bit. It does. But I think I'll be okay. You're doing over two, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll be fine. Yeah. 
It'll be fine over two. Once you get your eyes adjusted to it, I think it'll be totally fine. But I'm okay with doing, like, even though we're doing a bunch of trays, I'm okay with doing them all different. I don't need them all to be on the same fabric, the no. same size or anything Well, like that, that would be silly yeah. because you don't have them all out anyway. I think you should just match to, you know, what they are. Right. So I do want to try at least one of them. I might do him. They um, work up really. The, the one over one on 25 are quick. Count. I, I mean. He'd be cute on 25 count. He would be very cute. But then I think a lot of them would be beautiful on that water lily color too. So. True. Uh, this is my favorite gray. But. I'm going to try to replicate this because you can't get it anywhere. So it's what they used to call Confederate gray. Mm -hmm. What is it now? Mystic gray, I think. It's it's kind of gray with a... Just gray, just, I think. It's gray. No, it's mystic gray. Is this not Weeks Dye Works? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's the Swagger. Swagger okay, one. yep. So um, it's gray, but it has an... In here, it looks really green, actually. It's not that green. But there is a green hint to it. So I'm going to try to replicate it on 40 count because I can't find it anywhere. So he's super cute. You'll have to use him on something. I'm going to yeah, I'll have to mine. finish. Yeah. Some stuff. I don't want to rip the stuff around him. I'll just no. fluff around him and do something. Do a little pillow or something. Yeah, it's cute. Or a little tiny frame would be cute. Like that frame you did that turkey in. That's It'd true. Be cute in that. You just had to put some leaves on your apple. Like and you're he's all precious, good. but it was hard. It and was tough to I stick mean, with him. Big. I don't know why. He's so cute. Maybe because but... fall had passed. I don't know. Maybe we'll be more excited about it towards the end of summer. So that's it with our stitching today. Um, yeah. Do you have plants besides the sow? No, just the two sows. I'm going to finish my up some of my own patterns. I'm going to finish up the collector fun. thing and get those two things yeah. framed. But And then I got to get back on my three-day rotation. And I'm kind of behind on the... Unless I can whip one out before tomorrow, the Christmas ornament thing. Oh, yeah. But that's a fabric thing, too, because I wanted to kind of switch off. I'm doing gingerbread, not the whole village, but a strip of them. Um, but I've been looking for fabric for that. So Yeah, so let us know where you guys are finding your 40 count fabric. I like 40 count. It's Or 32. I'm, I'm okay with 32. Not 36, though? No, because you can't. I can't do two oh, two threads over, and the coverage is not enough for you. No, so I think it depends on the pattern. And I me. think if you're doing more prim, it's perfect because mm -hmm. thirty six count is like awesome to stitch on. But doing two threads in there on a full a lot, it's, I like that coverage look though. You get that, but it's bulky. No, I mean just one. Oh, yeah, it depends on what you're it doing. It depends on what you're doing, yeah. If you're going for a more primitive look, that's fine. But I mean, I wouldn't do, like, one of these trays mm -hmm. on there, I don't think. But. And, I mean, 36 is, like, the perfect. It's so easy to see, and it's just the coverage. I'm not, I'm not crazy about So that's our plans. Is to, I got to get back doing my three-day yeah. seasonal rotation. That's about it. Still got to paint my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> so we have, we can do, do you want to do haul? Sure. I just have a tiny haul. Yeah. You show yours first. Mine's a little bit bigger. It's not haul. It's, it was a Valentine gift from my husband because we were snowed in. <laughs> yeah. That was that weekend, right? Yeah, it Yeah, was. we were snowed in and we didn't go anywhere or do anything. So, so um, it's like order something. This is not really my haul. My mom bought these for me, but I needed some yellows and pinks to play with because all my pinks were very like pink but I wanted I like some. those those are uh, yeah, kind of vintagey vintagey pink so, so I'm playing around with these for some spring it does spring it looks like designs. Easter doesn't it, really it does so I mean I, don't I need know. to pick some Let's of these for my out of the Easter one but I know I don't think you bought this in this yeah I did fall. I grabbed all the yellows at one time oh okay I had another one you had already bought yeah too um these will probably be some of these will be on that every bunny Welcome, watering oh, yeah. can. I still am playing around with switching the colors out on that. My yeah, this is like the best yellow ever. I'm so. gonna use that on my um, Madame Chantilly. The Although the on the B skeps, I used um, Bee's knees. Oh, and I loved it. Is that classic it's color kind of, works? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I ordered some Steam Rippers. <laughs> From um, Amazon, B 
because I'm sick of having to go to my sewing machine to get a seam ripper when I'm sewing and then to go to my stitching to get a seam ripper when I'm sewing. <laughs> that, that is a great brand. I, Clover. I love Clover. This is what I've, this is the what great I've thing used. about these is they don't roll off your table. That's like yeah, but and I've never had this break before. I've nope. had them break. I've had like just the little chintzy little plastic ones bust. I've never had a seam ripper break, but the old ones, the round ones, used to roll off the table yeah. and whatever. And these are these are sharp. I have the I have the fat white one that doesn't roll either. Yeah, that I like. So. I'm pretty sure you gave me. I did. Like, I think in a sewing kit or something. Yeah, those are my those and it's Clover brands. I've awesome. had another one and didn't like it. Um, so yeah, no. now I have, I now I'll have them for my cross stitching and my, at my sewing machine. Cause it's annoying to have to go find them wherever they're at because I seam rip when I frog. I don't, I don't care. I started doing that. <laughs> she said that. I'm very careful. I'm careful about it. <laughs> Especially on that big one. I had to pull some stuff out. Oh, yeah. I had to pull a ton out. All those letters from on my, my on my huge Ellen Mauer Stroh, I had to pull that whole alphabet out, and oh, I was yeah. like, "Oh my gosh, if I cut through all that fabric, I, I or it's oh." I I'm careful. Out. I don't think I've ever no, but maybe I, I kind of love doing that. that. Went through, but it wasn't like wasn't that big of a deal, or I wouldn't have been seam ripping it. Oh, you didn't show your little not yet. Um, you can show them, and then I'll show my. Oh, these are from Amazon. And then I ordered a bunch of little scissors from Amazon too. These came in one little kit. And they're really pretty. I love they're like them. ombre. Oh, are they Oops. all stork? Nope. Oh, okay. I was expecting them all to be stork ombre, and I haven't even gone back to see oh, if they were the supposed to be that. But when they showed up, they're just beautiful. That gold one. Mm -hmm. This blue one. And it just looks like little vintage scissors. That one is kind of ombre now that yeah. I see it in the camera. Maybe not that one. <laughs> that one's real. I know I won't get that one, but... And this is the copper. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And they have cute little... Shields. Whatever. So, Sheath. Because I want to make up like a sewing kit for each of my sewing areas so I don't have to go dig my scissors out of anywhere. And I don't do that. I just use my teeth. Don't do that. And I need to stop doing that. So <laughs> That's it. All right. So all I, I have got. a small... Hall. Um, I actually ordered from Buttermilk Basin because I'm in the mood for spring. Well, that's Christmas, but so don't judge me, but because this was from my husband. <laughs> but so I got a few um, patterns. So I got this. It makes a cute little pillow because I want to do my sewing um, tear tray. So I thought, I don't know, this might be giant. But I can adjust it, so depending on... I haven't found the tray I want to use yet. This looks pretty giant. Yeah, so it might be. But this could be a pillow just on its own. So this, this oh, yeah. element right here. So That's we'll true. See. It'll That'll be, be cute. cute. But I can set it around it, too. Um, my friend Karen found a, the bench thing, and she's going to put a pillow on hers. The bench from... From Hobby Java, Yeah, Java, Java Girl. Girl stitches. She did a bench, and she said she might put, like, a pillow or something on it. So, um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm not sure. So I got the little, these are little kits because I don't have a lot of wool, very little anyway. So these are, will hang like on a doorknob, but I got a little bee skip and I got this. Um, the strawberries, because I love, love strawberries. strawberries. I probably will change this background because it's very tan in here. Um, to more of like a, maybe a cream or as close to white as I can get, or even like a soft buttery yellow. Oh, I'm, thinking. I'm thinking a soft buttery yellow. Like your pillow that you have over there. Yeah, my favorite pillow I've ever made in my yeah. whole life. And yeah, so I thought there was another... Strawberry. Yeah, where's the other strawberry thing? It's gotta be behind those, right? No, well, yeah, they're gone. I don't know where it is. There was another strawberry. That is weird. Oh, well. I'm sure we'll find it. Anyway, so, um, anyway, I don't know where They're it went. Overlooked. It's just a strawberry. I don't know where it would be, though. So, and then there's these. It's the same thing, just to kind of hang on a doorknob or whatever, the little 
pumpkins. And then um, this I love. This pretty much says me for Christmas. So I love the lighter look of it. And I will probably frame it just like that. So that's it. I don't know. There was, there's a strawberry. There's strawberry. It's like a single strawberry. Yeah, right? it's just a strawberry, just like um, this. But it's a strawberry. I don't know. Anyway, I'll show you next time if I can find it. Because apparently things we don't even have it that messy here. It's not even messy here. So, but then it came with these, or it didn't come with. You ordered the little bees too. I'm really into the bees and all that stuff. So that's it. That is my, my Valentine gift from my husband. So I don't know. That's weird. It disappeared. I got a ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I kept sending, you know how on Instagram you, you got all those jewelry. Um, like uh, jewelry, like ads. Yeah, jewelry ads. So I would just kind of ship them to my husband. Um, I, or <laughs> <laughs> I ordered from Buttermilk Basin, yeah. which makes me much happier. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really a jewelry person at all. So, um, yeah, so that would be it for our haul and our stitching. Um, and I think we'll, do you have any sewing stuff? Nope, I'm just so long for the I ride do. now. What is the time up there so we know? 36 about? minutes. So, yeah. um, so go ahead. I will go ahead and stop it now yeah, and, and we'll then we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're frazzled now. I have another little bit of haul. <laughs> so this is, I bought some more flea market. What's this? It's called flea market, right? Yep. Lori Holt flea market. Sorry, I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> <laughs> so this is for the back of um, the best friend's quilt along. Um the back and the binding, I think I did that. So that was that haul, which I totally forgot about. Where'd you buy that from? <clears throat> oh, I don't know. Stitches and Giggles. On it's, uh, Etsy. Etsy. No, no, they have their own website too. Oh, I it's Stitches and Giggles, Stitches, the letter N, Giggles for the letter U. But on, on their... <laughs> on Etsy. Stitches on and book, Giggles for you. And or stitchesandgiggles.com is where I I didn't know they it. had their own They website. just started it not too long ago. So nice. And I found these cute... Um, ooh, that looked really bad from the back. Yeah, it did. But they're super cute. I'm going to... Um, there's like little moss eggs and little moss balls. And and I'm going to paint and, and paper mache eggs and carrots. So I'm going to just kind of paint these. And I'm going to put this... Rack. I'm going to probably paint them, <laughs> but we'll see. We'll, we'll mess around. So, um, but I want to, I have a terrarium. I want to put these in for, and they'll be cute to decorate for spring. So that was the rest of my haul. I, I don't know why I didn't grab that. So I have been, mm, not really. I've sewn a little bit. So the first thing I did. And, More than me. And it's kind of why I think I didn't get a lot of stitching done. Um, I forgot I had done this, but I did applique down my first Dresden. Um, I haven't quite decided the center. I think it's really, a, yeah. I thought you going with the green. No, I wanted the blue. It's a bluey green. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You you said green. I said blue. we'll go back to the text conversation. Okay. You go ahead and do that. <laughs> you said pick the blue, but I haven't decided. Yeah. Yet, so. <laughs> yeah they're so, both beautiful but they're both the beautiful blue is, so i did better. that that took a little bit. i mean i you know just applicated down and i really love one this. down how many to go eight it's not bad so i figure if i do one every couple weeks um i love doing it though oh my gosh i was reminded how much i love the applique so and dresden's are really fun i love them I have that Christmas one I need to get out. Yeah, I love it. So that was, um, actually took up a lot of stitching time. The other thing I did, I'm gonna put it on here because you can kind of see through, is I, I need some stuff for my walls in here because it's, oh, it's so bare. Um, but I did, I'll get it out. Yeah, you do that. It hasn't, hey. I mean, what? My pattern's called Sew in Love. Oh yeah, I swear I didn't rip them off. Well, how would you have known? <laughs> so in love by quilt doodle designs. Sure. Oh, and I got on yeah, her quilt doodle yeah, designs. Yeah, and I got Very on her cute. website. She's got some cute stuff. But I, I'm probably gonna. This is way like. bigger than it's gonna be. Um, but there's gonna be. 
I'm not going to do the love thing. I'm just going to kind of put a, you know, a, a loop de doo A loop de doo on the top. Um, but this will be yeah. fun. Just, I have to buttonhole stitch around it. I don't, I don't know. I haven't fused it. Buttonhole or blanket? Same thing. Oh, is it the same thing? Yeah. What buttons are you using? Vintagey white. And then I'll, you know, it's going to, I mean, it'll look better. <laughs> it's a little are you going to do the tiny now. buttons for the, the pin heads? I don't know about that. Because you've got those Lori Holt buttons. Yeah, well, those aren't that tiny. Oh, yeah, that's true. So, they're not. But this is going to go, I'm going to probably put it in a frame after it's all done and quilted and whatever. So I think it's cute, though. And that was just a mishmash of fabrics. Yeah, had. Lori Holt. Lori Holt. Lori Holt. And that's just, that's old. This. Tam Kitty, I think, or yeah, something. Yeah, Tam Kitty Morning. Yeah, just, just some scraps. And oh, and that little green's Lori Holt, too. So it'll be cute. Um, I'm kind of excited to work on this. This will be fun. Yeah. I've been really wanting to do. Your hand doing the buttonhole stitching, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm not good at machine. Not around curves and stuff. No. I just, and I think it's fun to sit and it's do different. that. So yeah. that is what, that's my sewing. So not a lot of sewing either. I have zero sewing. You worked on your best friend's quilt a little bit, though, didn't you? I sat down for like two minutes one day, but then my daughter wanted me to go play with her. I repaired the outer part of mine and then decided to rip out the whole center. Yeah. So and redo I didn't it. like the way it looked, so we're going to, um, I'm going to redo it and reconfigure the center Oh, I know another part. thing we got for the hall. What? The irons. We got new irons. Oh, we did get new irons. Don't love it, but. I haven't tried it yet. It's very heavy. We got Rowentas just mm -hmm. from Walmart. Yeah. I have a really old, um, I have a baby you know, Alyssa I that a I love and I think pink. it works better than the giant Rowenta. I have like a giant pink one from Target that I've had for like seven years and I've never. Oh, this one works really good. It. It's pretty high wattage. Yeah. I don't I'm sure this will be steam, like far so. better than what I've used. <laughs> I think so too. So I do have one plan that I'm going to do hopefully in the next, uh, I'm going to try to do it because I've had this pattern for a while. It's um, by Coriander Quilts. Super cute. It's a barn quilt. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a long time. Isn't that cute? I just, I love patterns that come in these little baby mm -hmm. <laughs> packages. But apparently I lose them because when we stopped the thing, I tried to find the other Starberry kit. we just took a break in the stuff. video, we just searched the I, whole house I seriously, I'm really... Other kit. Pretty, pretty darn pretty, organized. I'm pretty organized and I, I don't know. It had to have fallen under something. We didn't check under in your closet. No. It's I, also it drove me crazy. It's for Evie to grab and take off with. But yeah, I don't remember I don't, her walking I, around. No, with and it. I didn't really have them out and about. No. So I don't know. They're slippery. It's driving though. me crazy. And so I'm going to do Warrior fabric because I'm trying to decorate this room in here so it's not so boring to. The walls are white and everything's white. So this will be the florally part and a white background. And then I've got this for the other part. So I've had the fabric for a long time. Um, I just haven't done it. So I thought this would be a fun, quick one to do. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I may hang this on the wall right outside my sewing room too. That'd be cute. So, cause it's kind of, I have, not really aqua, but this is more teal anyway, so. Be pretty in your laundry room, too. Where? It's 40 oh, inches. Know. It's 40 oh. inches. My laundry room is a pass through to the garage. There's no room for it. It's very so. white, though, so it should, like, zhuzh it up a bit. But I like white. Oh, I thought you wanted color in there. I haven't decided. Probably not color. Something, I mean, a little picture with color, but. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what I was just thinking. Oh, I saw that um, Riley Blake is doing like a, I don't know if it's a block of the week or a block of the month, like we're freebie blocks. Oh, they're, sh I, they're, they're yeah. really super cute. And it's like a designer every, I don't know if it's every week. I don't know when it is, but like, you know. <laughs> A new designer <laughs> each for each block. I've got like this alfalfa sprout. I look like a California quail over here. The weather is making my hair like staticky and it's just like flipping about. But anyways, there's some really cute blocks I've seen. I think it's RBD challenge, RBD block challenge on Instagram. I'll link it. I need to start printing those out. Though, yeah, the I've been saving really each love. one. The one I love... 
because they're super cute. Who did the first one? Was that Jessica the, Dan? The first, like, three of them I love. Yeah, the one would be really cool, though. Four of them together. Yeah. And that it would be, like, they're 10-inch right. blocks, which I think is kind of cool, too. They're all very cute. And I would probably do the same thing where I would do like four. just, like, a full quilt of one of the blocks or two of the blocks. I don't necessarily She's not a love sampler, sampler quilts, mm -mm. especially if I don't know what it's all going to be at the end. Um but there's some really cute ones. And Lori Holt will have one eventually. I did see that. But the first I think like, a lot of three their... designs are super, super cute. I remember I loved the one because it had a chain going through it. Yes. That was, so. I think, the first one I saw. And there's like a star. There's one that was maybe a little economy block looking a little bit. I, I don't know. But check that out. I really, I think I'm going to do some of them. I've been in a sewing. I saw we were watching... Um, or I was. I don't know if you've watched it yet. Shabby Fabrics has a super oh, yes. cute um, table runner, that. and that their their patterns are free on there. So. Yeah, um, it's really cute. It was like a it's, I want to say a sixteen it? patch in the middle. Sixteen patch. a sixteen patch kind of scrappy with star. a star around the outside. So that was really cute. Check it out. It's really cute. I meant to have that printed out, but yeah. I don't know what I don't know where the last two weeks have gone. I really don't. But I I told myself for quilting that if I was going to start a new project that I had to finish one of my whips like the quilt top anyways not oh, like entirely finish it. Oh, for your cross stitch? Cause no, no, never no. no. <laughs> for quilt. Because I have a couple that I did like years and years ago like maybe even before I was Your like Halloween 20. one is so cute. That one is super cute. It's the but cutest. that's not an easy one to pick up. And that's scrap that jars and I think that was yeah, years ago. I think I have it out of a magazine and I have the magazine but when I was doing quilts back then, I would pre-cut everything, and it's just a mess now. But, I, I mean, I have, like, a nine patch that I need to finish, and how easy would that be? I have a couple that are like that, just, like, super easy nine patch stuff that I could just whip up one day. So. I don't have a lot. I have one log cabin that I have to put some blocks together. I'm not sure why I stopped on that. I get bored. Actually, we were moving. I know, I, projects, I know what happened with bored. that one. I don't get bored with quilt projects. Um, I normally finish them, but unless I don't like it. If I don't like it, and that's another thing with the potting shed, I've come to, <laughs> I need to just stop and because I, you know, I got three quarters of the way done with it and I just knew I wasn't going to finish it or well, I, I wasn't going to love it yeah. when I was done and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to just abandon it quicker i'm gonna Me try too. to that's so I what i decided done. with the sow today because i was like I, I really need i feel like i've abandoned like i feel like i bailed on you guys <laughs> like tanya there on instagram no and stuff and i just you'll do it again. Um, I mean, yeah i feel bad but i'm like the, i'm not stitching it because i'm not enjoying it and it's because i i chose to do it on the ada and i'm not typically an ada stitcher i think i would like to stitch on ada if it was smaller pieces so like little prairie schooler like ornaments i like things. the oatmeal ada for prairie schooler that's just because i like the color and the look of it mm -hmm. when it's done um i do too when you cool. do it but just stitching on it was not i was not enjoying it but then i picked up this one and this is stiff fabric but it's not you know ada but i mean i whipped this up i like I ada not having an issue at all my go-to right now is 40 count I mean, I like the way it looks, but I just can't get myself to. But I get where people can't stitch on it on mm -hmm. a forty count. I mean, I'm lucky yeah. and I have good eyes, but if you have, I don't, if you can't see it, don't do it. Do thirty two count. Do thirty six count. Um, or do Ada. I like Ada too. Mm -hmm. I think it's more. I don't think it's really the Ada that you're not liking. I don't think you're liking I think the, it's colors maybe the color together. too. Yeah, it's just kind of blah. But I think, I think it's more Halloweeny gray. I think Instead it just of being super cute on here, though, I really do. If it fits, yeah, I don't. I I love that fabric. <laughs> I love stitching on it. It's Lugana, and Lugana is really cool yeah. to stitch on. Um, but it it's distracting to me to see the. But I I think it'll be adorable, and when I see <laughs> other people do their snowman stuff on it, I that's why, and that's what I was thinking of. So I'm going to be stitching on these two this time around so i might just be blind <laughs> the next time you guys see especially me especially since she was supposed to have an eye doctor appointment today and they're the world is falling apart and oh my gosh oh but we're not open
open. <laughs> you rescheduled in October and we opened earlier when, in October when you rescheduled. So, so you're not actually in our books and we can't squeeze you in. But they emailed her to say she and had I confirmed my appointment. <laughs> but whatever. Oh my goodness. We yeah. just everything needs to go back to it does. so we can go to the doctors so I can get my hair done. So Van- it's the same way with our stitching where whatever. we've decided to just like if we're not enjoying it, we're gonna bail on it. I told my husband today if I'm not enjoying working with somebody, if it's an eye doctor, if it's a mortgage company, if it's a contractor <laughs> I'm just kidding with the contractor, but if it, I'm just not going to do it. There's just like way too many, there's too many, way too people. many choices out there for me yeah. to be annoyed. And I just move on. I'm like, Oh, yep. Nope. I'm not rescheduling. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, but we can, you know, we can fit you in in March. Yeah. No, thanks. <laughs> All right. So I think that's it for this week. Um, yeah. So Jacqueline, yeah, remember yeah. to email us. Um, if you want to join our stitch along and I'll, I'll email if. I'll get back to you right away. Um, if you haven't heard from me, there might be an issue, but I don't think there. I, I did get an email from somebody, so I think all is good with our email. So. Yeah. Yeah. But you can always get on, on Heather's Instagram. Instagram, too. yeah. I'm Carly Court Cottage. And I am White House Citry on Instagram. <laughs> did you forget there for a second? No. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Too. Um, I'm also White House Stitchery on Etsy, and I do have a Facebook page, but it's pretty dinky. Um, I don't do Facebook. <laughs> I have like 17 followers. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a Facebooker. That's okay. So. That's okay though. I mean, I know there's. I'm a member of a couple groups, and I. Half the time. Oh, yeah. I have my own personal Facebook. My granddaughter will come over and she used to do and she would log me out and log herself in on her Facebook. So, I I mean, it could go a year and I wouldn't remember how to get back on there. Yeah. No, I don't really hang out on there that much. No. So I think that's it for. Um, If you want to join our stitch along for the Madame Chantilly trays, we're starting that Monday. That's right. I'm also restarting my own stitch along for Cozy Winter Wishes. And I will. You can join along on that. I don't. I I gotta I gotta dye fabric tomorrow and then I'll be good. I'll be all good. Yeah, and I need to buy fabric, some forty cal. And buy your and mom some of that. Water the water lily. lily. Too. So yeah. if you guys have suggestions on where to find some good forty cal, we're very particular on our colors. It's but, probably best if we just get white and dye it ourselves. Yeah, I think. I think we probably will do that. Only because or, we can't see them in person and. I do really like when a shop has, and I found a shop on Etsy that did this, where they have like a DMC floss on top of it to show you the closest color to it. But they're, I mean, they have like three options in 40 count. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, they're like really hard to get. $5. I'm not spending that on a piece of fabric. Not when we can dye an aqua or a mm-hmm. green ourselves. So. Yeah. So let us know below. When it becomes more readily available, I would love to support the dyers, but yeah, it's we just also want to start buying color and cotton floss. Yeah, We've talked about definitely. That's that's Holly's fault too. So. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, Holly. Yeah, but I have thanks, to have, Holly. She did the cutest bunny, and I need my bunny to be that color for Harrietta, Henrietta, Henrietta, and and Co. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I think. With um, I cannot start anything. Sorry, no, I, I just shook either. the whole table. So, I want to. Well, we're starting the tear tray. That's enough. That'll get us going. Yeah. There's a cute bunny on there, so we'll just go from there. Or not on my Fourth anyway. of July. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could stick a bunny or a chicken on there weird. if you want to. That's kind of cool because you could mix around. They, there's so many cute elements. Mm-hmm. There's, I want to do the summer one too, but I'm not. There's a one. We don't have that one yet. I don't think. No, we need the summer and the Christmas. and the Christmas. Oh, and one thing with those, um, because I know Holly couldn't find, or wherever she was ordering it from, from the spring, I think, was unavailable. Um, But you can go directly to Madame Chantilly on Etsy, and you can either order it from her and she can mail it to you. She's in Italy. Um, Or if you send her a message after you order or within the order, she will send you a PDF um, on the, the, the following weekday. Yeah, if you can't find it. Which we've done a lot of ours that way. We did our autumn one that way. She's really, really nice to work with. And she sends it to you. And then she reimburses your shipping charge, like, immediately. Because she's just emailing you the PDF, so. Oh, I didn't know that was how that went. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Yep. I mean, the shipping wasn't. I think I just looked at the bottom. Line, I just noticed so. there was shipping on there, and oh. I asked. I was like, oh, it's fine if it's just a handling fee or whatever, but it wasn't. She said yeah. she reimburses it and sends you the PDF. Cool. It wasn't, like, a lot of money for the PDF or for the shipping even, so. Yeah. I don't even remember. So subscribe to our videos. Thank you for watching. Thank Comment below watching. or email us if you have any questions. Um, I and maybe we'll be more lively next time. Yeah. It is, it's later in It's the... just really hot in here, too. That's my problem. <laughs> it's really, really but hot. But if I had the window open, she'd be I like, have the oh, window my open. gosh, it's so freezing. I opened the window. Um, uh. If you have any questions, you can email us. And just I'm going to upload the video and bear with me on getting things linked. Because I'll probably take a yeah. little bit to get some things linked. But if you have a question, just let us know. And she's got to go home and do that because usually I get it, that takes computer. yeah that takes a while. And my my um, iPad's not allowed out of the house anymore. So because of her, because, because of me, because <laughs> I you know, had my accident. Yeah, what else? Is <laughs> oh, and Jacqueline, you have until the next video, so two, weeks, two weeks to get back to us. And then if not, we'll continue on. I mean, it's. It's twenty five dollar Etsy gift card. Yeah, you could order a Madame Chantilly tray or two. There you go, and join us on. Yeah, the... and join us on the sale. Yeah. All right, we're rambling now, yeah. so we'll see you in two weeks. Have a good day.